hello guys uh, welcome back to my channel software automation experience in this video i'm going to explain you about how to read uh, variables in uh, jmeter and how to read uh, properties property values into the jmeter so <clears throat> okay so let me show you guys uh, this is my already built uh, test suit uh, if you want uh, to build any of the test suit as uh, uh, like this you can uh, refer my videos i'll uh, provide the link in the description okay <clears throat> so let me show you how i can uh, read the variables let me go to http uh, request and then i have a token generator uh, preprocessor so inside this i will uh, <clears throat> write something so that i can uh, fetch the variable name so i have to i want to fetch the variable name of this product name okay so this uh, product name is the variable which is uh, coming from our uh, config.properties file so from there i want this uh, to be printed anywhere i want okay so what i can do is go to uh, token generator so here i can uh, uh, call write uh, means i can get that variable uh, value by just uh, typing was dot get and as i can pass the name of the uh, variable and uh, so that i will get the uh, value of that variable property okay so uh, i want to store it in a string variable string, uh, take it as application name i'll save it as application name and then i'll just check if this uh, print should, like if it is uh, really uh, fetching the value of product name or not for that i'll just write a log statement log dot in name is I'll just take this variable and pass it here uh, yeah this way uh, I'll print my log let me just uh, execute the test suit and uh, show you guys if it has already if it has taken it up okay just clear it and uh, execute the test suit the test suit uh, execution is completed in the logs to check the logs you can click on this uh, yellow uh, triangle symbol so that uh, you see the logs at the below here okay so come to this one and see here for the token generator script i have application name is care source printed okay so i have not provided any of uh, like hard coded value i just read it from the product name the product name of variable value is uh, care source so that value is uh, read as application name and then i'm passing that application name to be printed as part of my log statement okay next thing is uh, i would want to let me just disable this box i would want to now i have read it as the uh, uh, variable i would uh, i will if i want to set it as a property and then pass it to some other uh, some other request or some other file suppose uh, request body generator in that case what should i do i can uh, directly pass it like this i can read it from there as well so now we have one more thing one more approach like we can make use of as dot put to assign this uh, value of the product uh, name variable to some of the other uh, variable so i can uh, call this variable as service name okay so as part of uh, means my variable my new variable is service name i want this variable value to be the product name value what i can pass here is like uh, pass dot get same thing product name and pass here by just separating it with comma this is the value i'm getting here and storing it as the service name variable okay so now as uh, we have seen we have set uh, we have created a variable using was.put to just check whether it will uh, uh, it has stored it as uh, the service name or not i can print a log statement from here okay I just print a log this name is we can 
for it as the as dot get i cannot as it is not stored as a string variable or anything i cannot uh, i cannot uh, give the variable name directly i need to give it as as dot get as it's a variable now it's not a string variable okay so let me just uh, execute it and show you how it is placed click on the log As you guys can see, I have application name is CareSource and then I have service name is CareSource. It has display. Okay, so this is the statement got printed. Okay, so this way I can uh, uh, read it in this in the other uh, preprocessors or other uh, requests, other HTTP requests, other thread groups as well. So how can I read it? Now I have set it as very well short put. I can read it here as well. So to read it here, I can just uh, call that variable with the dollar curly braces service name, and then uh, mm -hmm. just pass this dot dot info statement. Okay. So the here I'll. Uh, print some other log like uh, the name of the service is some what I want to make it different from that so that uh, okay I can yeah now uh, I can as this I have uh, read it as a parameter I can pass it as uh, this is my zero the argument okay also zero dot Okay, this argument will be read and it will be converted to string and that value will be displayed okay this way i can do another way is uh, i can do what like top dot info uh, my service name is i can do like this fast dot get what is that uh, service name is the variable we have to write so copy this and okay just uh, execute this and check if it really works okay yes you can see the log has been generated in the logs you can see uh, it has got printed first is application name is care source service name is care source and then mm, the name of the service is care source this is the uh, log statement which we have written it outside of the token generator script no it is not present here in the token generator script. it is rather it is present in request body generator script so that this is to show how we can uh, set a variable here by using put and how we can get it as part of the parameter and then uh, as also this got printed my service name is care source and also we can get it as well dot get this can be achieved uh, across uh, the test suite like i can read once i have set this variable as well dot service name i can read it into any other preprocessor post processor in the http request any other uh, um, thread groups as well so wherever we want uh, we can read it okay so this way we can uh, define uh, variables in jmeter and make use of it another thing is we have properties okay so let me just show you how uh, we store the properties so string i will uh, yeah so what i'll do is i'll uh, put this as a property class dot put uh, i'll give it as the service property okay service property and uh, what I'll do is, uh, no, no, it uh, should be a prop dot put. Sorry. So it's like prop dot put and then service property. What I can do is I can do prop dot get the same product. Okay. Same variable I can read it as a property variable and can make use of. Okay. So these variables will be used mainly for the string variables string values and uh, if 
that is any other integer values or floating point values we can make use of props okay this way i have uh, set the property uh, service property with the uh, with the name of the product name and uh, i can display it as dot info so what i can do is uh, uh my service property is okay uh for a lot i'll just pass that the let us check how if it works or not so yeah the execution is completed and as you can see uh it has not got printed uh it has thrown some okay let me just check if it is yeah it has got printed my service property is finished. this way we can uh, even set the properties or even the variables we can uh, set the properties as well uh, using the uh, prop props dot put value and uh, I, we can get it uh, using the props dot get okay so this way the props dot uh, properties will be uh, useful uh, if we have string uh, if you have uh, integer and floating point values and uh, variables will be useful if we have uh, string values so yeah this is how uh, we set properties and variables in JMeter. Okay, so uh, that's all uh, on this video, guys. Uh, if you like this video, please uh, subscribe to my channel, Software Automation Experience. And if you have any queries, any doubts around it, uh, please uh, write into comments, and uh, I will try to resolve that. Yeah. So uh, do not forget to click on the notification icon so that. Uh, you'll get the notification whenever I post any such new video and uh, stay tuned till the next video. Thank you.